join us on day two of our Newfoundland adventure as we travel in and around St. John's. You see, we were supposed to be on a cruise in the Caribbean this week, but instead, we decided to head out east to the rock. Good morning from St. John's, Newfoundland. We are on our way out to Signal Hill. It looks to be a beautiful day. Warmer than normal temperatures here in Newfoundland. Check out the color on all these houses. And what's amazing is that it isn't just this street. It's all the streets around here are like this. Take the second left turn. Well, I'm glad the GPS knows where we're going because uh, the road network down here is insane. Well, there it is, Signal Hill. Now, okay, what do we do to get there? We're kind of in a, okay, so so we just drove through what we thought was a parking lot here by uh, what looks to be a visitor center, but uh, there we go. Now we are heading back up the hill, and so just keep on following it all the way around uh, through the parking lot, and you'll get back up, and, uh, and here we go. Is this ever steep? Like, I have absolutely no words. Like, check out the tower and uh, the sky. And, uh, you know, I've been here once before and I didn't think it was going to be as impressive, but uh, this is this is just as amazing. 24 in the 20. I think we're good. Jerry. I'm Jill. And this is our second day exploring around St. John's. We're up today at Signal Hill. It's beautiful up here. Yeah, do you know what happened here in 1901? What happened? The first transatlantic wireless transmission was made and received here by a guy named Marconi, I believe. Uh huh. So, quite an impressive place. That's the ocean behind us. The next land after that would be Europe, England. In one year, we're going to get there. Hopefully. Hopefully, it doesn't take us a year to get there. Isn't this beautiful? Hello Atlantic Ocean. I could just sit here and stare at you all day. Okay, so we have left the tower and now we are walking back down to the parking lot to head off for our next adventure. But uh, not with a one final look around this place. Just uh, the history is amazing. Uh, there's, there's so much to see here. Uh, you, could spend, you could spend hours here just poking around. And I think there's trails just past the cars here. I think up over uh, that ridge, it goes all the way down towards the ocean. So we're going to have to definitely come back and spend more time here. Parking here is free and all of the stuff that we just walked through, there's no charge for any of that. There is even a little bit of a gift shop that uh, Jill went back in up in the actual tower. Uh, but now we are heading back to the vehicle and uh, heading out for our next adventure. There's 
an interesting little spot on the north edge of town that we've got to check out next. Well, we are here at the Ocean Sciences Center. And we are in search of seals. We hear that there is some area to hear, see seals here. This is part of what university? Memorial University. Memorial University. Main entrance located end of walkway. So I think we're going the right way. I do not know where we're going, but this looks like the coolest thing ever. Check this out. Look at this view. I know, <laughs> what a view. I come here just for the view. I don't even need to see seals. That'd be a bonus. We have found the seals. Oh, they're feeding them. They're feeding seals. Good time. Huh. Look. Oh wow. And then Tyler's about 30, 31, and then me is around 19, I believe. 19. So, yeah, so they're all fully grown and <laughs> she's our little senior lady over there. <laughs> right. What do you think he's thinking? <laughs> you thinking do you wanna come snuggle me, honey? <laughs> and this is his girlfriend. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? <laughs> So we're leaving the seals now. If you're coming here to find the seals, it might not be obvious how to get here, but look for this big wooden staircase. We're coming to the main entrance. That uh, it's a little bit to the right. And then uh, you just go up this staircase here, and that's where the seals are. And it looks like if you come in the mid-morning, 10.30 we're here, you can see uh, feet. Take a look at that you can see all the way over to cobbler's path over by torbay so well this has been a lot of fun here at the ocean science center but time to head back downtown and we're going to head to kitty bitty vacation rentals you can stay at a church yeah you can rent a church out for a vacation we are here in kitty bitty and just to warn you parking is a challenge mm -hmm. There's a lot of people trying to get into these tight little narrow streets. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. As Jill tries to avoid getting run over. Kitty Vitty? Is that how you say it? Kitty Vitty? Kitty Vitty? Kitty Vitty. What's there to do with Kitty Vitty? Is there roller coasters here? No, no roller coasters. <laughs> no? We're beautiful scenery, but this is we're coming up to the kitty vitty village plantation uh, last time we were here there was a sort of craft studio and i think it's the same thing from the sign i'm seeing uh, local artisans all have little booths set out inside all kinds of things to explore we're going to check that out okay jill's going to check that out i'm going over here to look at the scenery for a second see you in there this is Kitty Vitty Harbor, I guess it would be called. Kitty Vitty Brewery. Very famous spot here. People come down this patio there. People are on the patio have a drink. But Or Jill would tell you that those are, they look like stages that have been turned into little houses or shacks. 
Well, let's go find Jill and we'll see how she's making out shopping. for sale in Kitty Vitty. I'm not sure if you get just that little parking spot or the the hill. Well here's one last look around before we head off to find something you can only find in Newfoundland. St. John's at a grocery store with a liquor store attached and we have found our muster station. Where is it? Right over here. Oh, yeah. We're not on a cruise like we thought we would be but we have found our muster station. And it's the best of all because you have to go to the liquor store. Pineapple Crush. You can only get this in Newfoundland. I've never tried it but I'm about to go in and mix it with a little bit of rye and see how that goes. Wish me luck. It's actually really good. <laughs> Join us in the next episode as we head to Trinity Bay and New Bonaventure. And if you haven't done so already, then please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.